got a, a few questions, uh, not comments on the video, but uh, emails that were sent to me asking about the filtration on the pond. Um, of course, it depends on how many fish you got in there and the size of your pond. Uh, but again, uh, I only have about. I gotta keep that in there. Keep the raccoons and crap out of there. Um, like I said, I, I don't have that many fish in here at this time. There's one big. I think he's a show. No, he's like a, a sonky. I don't know. He's black and white. Whatever the black and white ones are. There's two big German scaleless right there. There's one, and there's the other guy. And there's about 40 of these little guys. They're all about, you know, five inches max. Some of them are only three inches. But anyhow, there's not that many fish in here for the size of the pond. As you can see, it's it's two feet deep, and you can see right to the bottom where that little guy's flipping around on the wrinkles in the liner. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's real clear. There's no, I don't have a UV filter or anything going through it. It's just, uh, so I'll show you. This is what a couple people were asking me about. Plants, I'm not big on plants. A lot of people say that plants are the key to having clear water. I disagree. For the fact that uh, the plants will hold a lot of parasites, stuff that you don't want in there. <laughs> depending on where you get them from. So I have two plants in the pond, that's it. I did, at one time I had the, the whole thing was covered in water hyacinths, but some of the fish got sick, and I think they were harboring parasites. But, so here's the filter. Um, it's DYI or whatever you call it, a homemade, you know. I got a one and a three quarter horse submersible pump way over here on the far side of the pond, which is about 12, 13 feet away. And the hose runs underwater, comes up right there, and I got all the rock covering up just so you can't see it. And it goes behind the liner, comes out right there, goes right up here into the tank. And all this is is a Rubbermaid trash can. A 32 gallon Rubbermaid trash can. Or 55 gallon, I'm not, I think it's 55 gallon. Uh, but yeah, this is how you make your 500 and something dollar filter. For uh, next to nothing, really. I got the hose coming in here through a little hole. I got a zip tie, a zip tie going through here just, just to hold the hose exactly where I want it. Because what you want it to do is hit this first. This is a bag full of carbon. And all it is is it's the sunshade. All this bag is is that sunshade stuff. The same thing that's over there, the sunshade to keep the sun off. But it has really good resistance as far as UV and how long it's going to last. So I just put. I stapled it up, filled it full of carbon, because you want your water to hit the carbon first. As long as your water hits the carbon very first thing, it should be alright, as far as your biofilter. And then I got about 15, 15 or 16 layers of this, which is really nothing but a swamp cooler pad. 15, 16 layers of swamp cooler pad. And then underneath all the swamp cooler pad, down there is uh, lava rock. Got about six inches, six or eight inches of lava rock right at the bottom. And that's the very last, oh, and feather rock. That's another good thing you want in there, is lava and feather rock. Because feather rock is real porous. That's going to help with, your, uh, with getting the surface area up. So that's it. I mean, it was real inexpensive. I think the whole thing. I think the whole thing cost um, 
about 50 bucks. And it just runs in. I had it set up on a rock waterfall where the tubes went to a rock waterfall, but it wasn't aerating the water quite as much as I wanted it to. So I just moved the, I made it a, it doesn't look very good right now, of course, but it does what I need it to do, which it drops. Those hoses drop about a foot and a half before they hit the water, which gives it a, which gives it real good aeration. And uh, that's it. I was going to make a separate video on the the fry pond down there, but I'll just rock down there real quick. I got to open it up. There's a little fry pond. These guys were all born about a month ago. Uh, unfortunately, I had to leave town for about a week. And uh, some frogs got in here, and some water skinks got in here. Basically, decimated this year's fry. I mean, it's real hard. With the glare, it's actually kind of worthless. I'll have to do another one later on when the glare's not so bad. As you can barely see these guys moving right, right there. There's two of them right there. But, yeah, sorry for wasting your time. This is horrible. Horrible glare right now. I'll uh, do another one later.